Hello there. My name is Christy Folsom. I am in my second year here at Wayne State in the SIS program, and I work in youth services at the Chippewa River District Library in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. I'm so excited to tell you a little bit about myself. Please join me on this literary story journey. My early memories of reading are of it being a very comforting, bonding experience with family. I was lucky that my parents and grandparents had time to read with me and engaged with me in literature through talking and singing and playing. This great gave me a great sense of print motivation and helped me to develop a love of reading and sharing reading that has lasted my whole life. Some of the picture books that I remember most fondly from my childhood are The True Story of the Three Little Pigs by John Sieska, uh, The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn, and The Lorax by Dr. Seuss. I remember particularly loving the realization I gained from the true story of the three little pigs that stories could be told from multiple perspectives. I thought it was hilarious to hear the wolf's take on that story and to imagine he was just coming over for a cup of sugar. Uh, that was quite the realization and I loved that book so much. As I got a bit older, I began to devour books on my own. Some of my favorites that stand out are the American Girl series and the Dear America books. These books, which often did not shy away from some of the darker aspects of American history, helped me to understand history through the eyes of children my own age. I also began reading with my younger sister. And this process uh, began mostly with sibling teasing. I loved to read a book aloud and then stop dramatically right at a cliffhanger, knowing that my sibling uh, could not yet read enough to finish that cliffhanger and find out what happened. Um, however, despite that somewhat devious intention, uh, I, that reading together really morphed into a bonding experience that I will always value. Not only did we come to enjoy reading together and uh, discussing what we were reading, but I was able to watch my sister grow as a reader and take an active part in her learning process. I feel very lucky that I got to have these experiences at an older, as an older sister. The experiences that I had with my sister have taught me a lot about myself and how I enjoy and value being a part of the learning and reading process. I've taken these childhood experiences into my adulthood, working on an undergraduate degree in English education. I also work in a library in youth services and now I'm furthering my education here at Wayne State through a degree in library science with a focus on serving children and young adults. I'd like to leave you with three children's books that I love as an adult. The first is Sealway by Lupita Nyong'o with illustrations by Vashni Harrison. And this book, I love everything about it, but the illustrations are just gorgeous. They seem to glow and just kind of melt right off the page at you. And it's particularly important because the story, the main theme of the story is about the beauty and the value in nighttime and in, in darkness and in dark skin. And that's all um, just so well represented in the illustrations, which are so gorgeous. I would highly recommend checking out this book. The Book With No Pictures by B.J. Novak is another one of my favorites. I love reading this book to classrooms, um, groups of kids, or one-on-one -on -one with a kid even, because it's all about that rapport between a reader and a listener. The reader is saying all of these silly things and the uh, listener or the child listening is encouraging the reader to say these silly things and kids get like a huge kick out of this book um, and it also just I feel like builds uh, just a relationship between these two people and I think helps build a love for reading and a love for talking about reading. 
and I have such a soft spot for the author John Clausen, and this is one of my favorites of his, I Want My Hat Back. It is the simple story of a bear who would just like to find his hat. Um, he goes on an adventure, and along the way, he, um, much like in the story of the wolf and uh, the three, the true story of the three little pigs, kind of um, ends up becoming a bit of an unreliable narrator. And it's a great way to teach and demonstrate what that looks like. Um, the illustrations clearly show something different happening than what the characters in the book are telling us is happening. Um, and so I think it's a great way to demonstrate that whole concept to kids while also being hilarious and funny and just very well done.